my video shut off, I guess. I'm using my phone because I don't have a laptop right now. So, you know, my personal phones have a lot of storage on there and everything. But yeah, I had to delete, you know, the initial video. It was like 17 minutes long, so I decided to do something quicker. And, um, yeah, where I left off, you know, it's a great shirt. It's very, like, there's a sense of pride once you finally earn it, especially after being at MEPS for two freaking days. And, um, get a backpack. You get a hat. You get a water bottle also, but mine's in the kitchen right now because I use it quite a bit. And you get a start grab. Mine does not have a cover on it. Do not judge me. I have been in the debt program for 10 months now. And as you can see, I got my PQS completely signed off. That basically means I'm, you know, ready to go to boot camp. I know all the basics that I could possibly learn before getting shipped off. And, yeah, I've been studying that. That's basically what I've been doing to prepare for boot camp. And that's pretty much that and trying to make sure that you can pass the PFD the first round it's it's some people it's not possible that's okay but if you pass it the first time around you can get rank up so why not not why not try as of now I would not be able to pass but I have 29 days left so I'm gonna try and um yeah I also got a cardboard check for, it's just like for show for my senior award assembly. It was for, it had $125,000. It's for my education. I do not have access of it, access of it right now because technically I'm not in the military. I have not become a sailor yet. I'm still a future sailor. But it's for representation purposes. Everyone thought I actually had that much money. I was like, no, I have to go through boot camp first. I feel guilty taking that money from the military. I don't even have that, you know, I haven't gone through that yet. I don't, you know, I don't get that money. But it's $125,000 because I am from Texas, and Texans get the Hazelwood Act along with the GI Bill, GI Bill, which everyone gets. So it's pretty awesome. I get both of those. Um, I probably won't use it because I plan on making the Navy a career or whatever. And if I don't use it, my kids actually get access to it. I believe that's how it works. And yeah, um... I'll try to make a video every week to let y'all know how my weight and um, physical aspects of, you know, running and stuff like that are going. Because that's just, my, my, I'm not, I'm under regulations, meaning, you know, I'm in I'm in regs, I guess I should say. So it's not anything I have to worry about, but it's still definitely, I definitely do have a goal weight that I want before boot camp. And um, I weighed in today, I am 5'4". I weighed in today at 158, and the regulation for the Navy is 156, but if you're overweight, you do get taped, so I got taped, and I'm only 30% 30, 30 body fat, so I'm actually, like, mostly muscle, so I'm, I'm still into, into military regulations, but I, my chief at the Navy office told me that it'd probably be better just to go ahead and get like lose a, that extra three pounds to get on the reg under reg so I won't have to worry about it which three pounds I haven't been doing as much as I could so I could dro I dropped four pounds this month so I should be able to drop three pounds with consistency this next month so yeah just working out and eating right you there's not necessarily a diet that you like unless you're really struggling but if you're really struggling chances are you're not in depth anyway and um yeah like I'm on a diet to where I have to do specific things, but the food that I have to eat isn't specific. So it's not strict. It's just basically um, making sure you eat when you're supposed to eat. So it's been helping me a lot, and my chief was excited when he saw I lost four pounds. Yeah, um, this month I'm hoping to be 150. I mean, before I ship off 150. So I only need to lose three pounds to be under regulations, even though I'm considered in regulations because of my body fat percentage. But I actually want to be down to my dep in weight, which was 150. So I want to try to dep in at 150 again. Or I want to ship at 150. And, um, yeah. If I will be posting videos up until my ship date, which is August the, the 11th, I'll try to post them every week. Just let y'all know what's going on with in dep. And, um, answer your questions if y'all have any. Please ask me questions. I mean, I know my video is not going to. I hope some people see it at least <laughs> and yeah um any questions y'all might have I'm sure to answer them 
I've, I'm sorry if y'all can't understand me. I didn't realize it was this bad until I did my first video. My accent's pretty thick. I'm sorry. I'm from East Texas. Um, yeah, it's pretty thick. Um, so if y'all can't understand me, or if, you know, y'all make a comment about me, it doesn't bother me. I wear my accent proudly, so, yeah, um, just let me know. Y'all can put anything in the comments y'all want to know, and I'll be sure to answer them. YouTube, YouTube helped me. I know pretty, it's sad, but I know pretty much everything that's going to go on every single week of bootcamp, and I haven't even left yet. I feel like I'd be better off if I'm prepared. Some people think they're better off, you know, unprepared. And it's just different people, different, you know, whatever they feel is best. I feel like I'd be better prepared. Well, not necessarily prepared, just knowing what's coming up, you know. And so, oh, by the way, if you're thinking about joining, females do not have to cut their hair anymore. But you are, there's still hair regulations. But it's the same regulations for a person, a person who's in the fleet, so. Find that out from your recruiters because they should know because they're in the fleet and whatever their hair, hair regulations are are your hair regulations from camp, which is pretty awesome. Because I feel like if we'd have to get that blunt haircut, that would be crazy to work out with in um, during PT. But I don't think I would have minded cutting my hair just simply because, you know, it's, it's a rite of passage. A lot of people have done it before. But, you know, I don't have to cut mine. Yeah, so... Just let me know. Like I said, ship off August the 11th. Future Sailor Boy. So excited. I'm ready. 29 days. Um, Anything? I don't think I skipped anything. Really. If y'all have any questions, though, let me know. And I'll be sure as hell to answer them. Alright, y'all. Have a good night. And consider enlisting. You really should. Goodbye.